Thank you for joining us this afternoon on the program held to live in Amadisuwa Osawage. And it is a pleasure that I come your way again, particularly as we're celebrating 63rd Independence Anniversary. We cannot be 63 as a nation, and yet we do things in a way and manner that does not benefit anybody, particularly the way we eat. Yes, we're celebrating, but that's not enough for you to like overeat, undereat, or don't eat properly. All right, so we're going to talk about food for health today on the program. And I have a dietitian with me, Mr. Gbenga Oladipo. He's a dietitian from the University of Benin Teaching Hospital. A pleasure to have you join us today. Thank you, Ma. So happy Independence Day <laughs> to you. Ma. All right, we're looking at food for health. When we say food for health, Mr. Gbenga, what do we mean? Yes, yeah, what actually means, like, you know, when you say food for health, it means that what actually you eat to promote your health, not even only that, you know, it's not about promotion alone, you know, our body, we have cells all over the body, mm. and then the polyvirate, what I'm about polyvirate is, you know, old cells die, and then new cells actually new come up, and then all this process actually involves a good diet. Okay involve a good diet. What I mean by good diet, you know, people think about balanced diet everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, balanced diet, balanced diet, balanced diet. They even know the meaning of balanced diet. So let me just buy, just tell us. you know, let me just buy food and heat and everything. Balanced diet simply means that when you eat food in the right proportion, so what do you do? And then what you do must equate what you eat. So that person will eat all day. Then we are celebrating everybody is fine. Mm -hmm. So are we actually taking care of our health? Mm -hmm. Or either we are thinking about the situation and Nigeria is not about situation <laughs> and giving <laughs> yourself a new hypertension. Nigeria is not good, Nigeria is not good, everything is bad and everything. Then we don't take care of our health. Mm -hmm. Everybody just know. I'm telling you, if you eat well, even though the prayer on the hospital will reduce. Mm. So we must eat right, we must eat well. It's not about buying food alone. It's not about going to market and cook food alone. Mm. You must cook the right combination. You must eat in a particular time that mm. you ought to eat. And then you must eat a particular proportion that's actually good for your, okay. your age, your gender, and your activity yeah, level. Activity so level. we actually make it to that, not talk about the balanced diet, but so, that, that you can so talk about So gender matters diet. too when it comes to <laughs> yes, food. Of course, yes, of, yeah, yes, yes, gender matters. Yes, yeah, gender matters. Okay, before we go matters. into all of that, I was reading uh, a publication where uh, the researcher said that there are foods that enhance various parts of the body. Yes. So that's what we want to look at today because some persons don't believe that there are foods you can eat to enhance um, your eyes, to make your eyes better. There are foods you eat to, to, to save you from uh, colon disease and all of that. There are various foods for various um, activities of the body. So let's look at some food that are beneficial to some parts of the body. Let's yes. look at eyes. For yeah, yes, of course, yes, of course. You see, when you say, like, like I said all the time, like when you say balanced diet, mm. we are talking of, you know, we have, you know, different nutrients that we have, mm. and then we have them in group. Like someone say, you know, micronutrient and then micronutrient. All that micronutrient, they are energy food. You are talking of carbohydrates, you are talking of protein and lipid. That's fat. That's fat. So then you are talking of micronutrient. Micronutrient, they are just vitamins and minerals. So under them, you know, when you talk of my, I mean, macro and micro. My, macro and micro. Mm -hmm. So when you not talk of carbohydrate, carbohydrate, not all the carbohydrates that give energy, so to say. You know, that sometimes, okay, someone is not working but it's an actually every eater. So we want that person to eat well, but we don't, have that, we don't want that person to eat more of energy because it doesn't do anything. It does not, it does not expend just, the but, energy on anything. Now, but we want that person to eat well. That kind of person now, we will not cut off what are the amount of food that will give the person energy, but what are the amount of food that person will eat that will make you full, that okay. make that person full. You okay. know, we are giving energy now. Energy but food. Energy food that according to what he does. But we want to give food that make him full too. So what, what, what are you going to do? If you are going to give more fiber and then give little energy food. Uh, fiber too, actually part of the carbohydrate. Okay. Do you understand now? So that fiber now is probably you are talking of ravages, you are talking of you know, all those saps in, in, in the food that they put there. So that's what like offer the rice now. The, more, the amount of energy food they, I mean, inside that offer the rice is more lesser than you know normal rice because both no, the, 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 the normal the, polished it, it, rice just now but for that contain more fiber than the other one okay so if that person is eating more of that fiber rice that's, that's that rice, local it, rice yes now. just like he's taking more fiber for example now someone is taking you know wheat 
You know, wheat now is actually fiber, but does not contain more energy the way cassava and the yam will contain like fufu yes, and then fan yes. the yam. Just because now. then energy, but not as much. Yeah, ju just now. So that's okay. The only person to eat well. Now, when you talk of food that can give a lot of things, now fiber is one of them that, you know, that can actually help in the movement of bowel, that can actually help in actually the integrity of uh, GIT. So what does that mean? It means that all those who that contain phytochemical and anti anti antioxidants, they actually help us in cope some certain diseases in our system. In our system. No, we, because the major thing that we do that when you eat food that contain fruit and vegetables, mm. it means that you are trying to you know to protect your immune system. You want your immune system to be well to well boost, at alert. If any foreign system. body is coming in, your immune system will be able to attack those foreign bodies. Mm. So that's why you know if you eat food, you can't just be eating say oh I don't want to take fruit at all. If you are not taking fruit, you are missing a lot of things. Because it's only in fruit you get phytonutrient, you get antioxidant, you get phytochemicals. So when you get those one, those one actually help internally that make you healthy. So that when the end is that, that, that's fruits and vegetables. Juice of fruit and vegetables because they are the ones that contain electrolyte that can actually help the body system in time of even though metabolic process like breaking down of our food in terms of you know I you know just you know trigger your enzyme to do their normal work instead of protecting your blood because blood is majorly your immune system. All those things that are inside the blood. So when you want to eat you must make sure that I mean all those vitamins and minerals they are part of your food. If they are not part of your food you are not eating balanced diet. So that's the, like when you are portioning your food you must how many carbohydrates will I take? How many protein will I take? How many fats will I take? Then others, if I'm taking all those vitamins and minerals, what are the you know quantities of all of them? You must have them your food in the right proportion. That's then you cannot say yes, then I'm strong. Now, all those energy food, you can't do away from them too. You cannot do away with them. You can't do away with them. So what we need to do when you are eating them, the right proportion of each one of them. No, the problem now is what is the right proportion? Yes, of course. You know, when you say what exactly you, how should we apportion it? What yes. is the right proportion the, for no, us? To uh, yes, eat? yes, of course. No, I, I was saying something at the right time. I said your age determine what you eat, your gender determine what you eat, and I say your activity level determine what you eat. In mm. some cases where you come when I come to uh, uh, I mean therapeutic diet. Then that one is about you know, someone is someone is actually eating you know all those food, but that person is not well. Maybe part of vital organs, maybe some of them are not working well, or that person actually been diagnosed to have some certain disease condition. So if this condition have to be considered in the food, that one now will be like okay, we must actually this food that we see now, we must actually tailor this food to cater for that disease condition. But let us assume that that person does not have any problem at all. So that person needs to eat according to what that person do. Now, you can't be a banker and start eating like brick player. You don't do that because you don't use that food. This is why we eat food, is to use it to work. If you don't, if you eat food and you are not eating to do anything, mm. it's become a problem. That's it, when you just eat, just you, 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 sit you sit there, you're now, not doing anything with the food now, you're eating. Now, for example, that's how, on this same program, you know, I was here one time, I was telling you that, okay, if you are a brick player, then you are not, a, you know, some people say, okay, I like taking, you know, swallow in the morning. Mm. And I told that it's not actually applicable to people that don't do anything. So if you are bricklayer, you can sit down and take apple in the morning. You can sit down and take swallow in the morning. You know that you are going to the you're field. Going to, you're going to, to use work. that energy, you all of the energy. To work, yeah. to work. That's exactly what we are actually, you know, talking about. Not that, you know, okay, you want to person my food. You want me to be eating small for me that I like eating before. We, are, we want you to eat according to what your body is not the way you are the, the kind of you know craving that you have for food no now when you when you when you eat too much of energy food you you just eat too much and you don't uh, spend that energy on anything what can happen to such a person yes of course it actually it means that you actually eating more carbohydrate and then the more you know you know what our body is our body is to convert you know you know those energy food that we eat to sugar it becomes sugar and when you have too much sugar in the system, what happened? What happened to that person? That person <clears> can <throat> develop diabetes at the time. That person can actually add more weight at the time. And they, those people that are actually, you know, you know, on a big size, you will see that, that they are the one coming up with certain things. With certain because diseases. they are vulnerable to all those non-communicable diseases, you know, mm -hmm. that can actually happen to them. So that's why I say, you know, they say, okay, maintain an LD 
weight. Maintain a LD. So, so, so eating all of those energy so fuels, you are not actually, using yes, them, not you come them. down with what ailments yes, or the other. Just that. now, okay. this is become accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. Before you know it, that person actually you know, develops some certain things. Mm. So, these are the things that we're actually you know, trying to gather against. That when you want to eat, eat according to what you do yourself as a person, and then make sure that. The food you eat, the tummy, okay, no, I'm, I'm a banker, I'm a just in the presenters, then my work is just to sit down and talk to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. You don't sit down and be eating that someone that meant to be on the roof and be lacking wood. Mm -hmm. So you don't eat like that. You eat what you do. According to your just now. job. But like, why you eat that way? I'm telling you, you have no business of speed too. <laughs> I used to tell any, everywhere I go, I used to tell people like that. People that are practicing, they call me, oh, wow, this is actually a good Things we all to do, everybody. Mm. So as we are, you know, living in this kind of environment that yes. no money, everybody is struggling to get it together. Mm. No, it's not about they ask you to eat small portion of food. But what we are telling you is, if you are heated, you heat. If you don't have access to dietitian to you know to plan your to diet plan for your you, meal. Well, what you need to do as we are eating big, you want to eat big uh, fufu. Don't take big fufu instead of <laughs> taking big fufu. You take more. See that. See that. And look for fiber swallow. What about fiber swallow? You can go for semo, you can go for uh, oatmeal, you can go for wheat, you can go for pandoyam. Because pandoyam is more, more, you know, okay than you sit down and be taking more fufu. Just now. So when you do that, then you can eat much of those ones. But don't eat them with ogbono. Mm -mm. Don't eat them with melon. You can okay. go out and eat them with okra and vegetable and mm. sit down and eat them well. Then, if you want to eat fufu, don't eat fufu in the night. Eat fufu in the afternoon. You know, like there is, the environment is hot. Yes, I The metabolic it. process at that time is very high. Very high. So, just now, very high. So, you can eat at that, at that moment. Not in the morning. In the morning, the weather is still like kind of cold. Everything is everywhere is cold. Metabolic process at that moment it's is slow. slow. So, that's what you need to do. So, not just like, oh, they ask me to eat small food. No, you can alternate that food. Instead of taking, you know, more strong uh, high glycemic index carbohydrate. Then go down and take the fiber. So you eat more fiber, which actually contains some vitamins also that can actually help you to boost your immune system mm. and then to give you the kind of to give your immune system the kind of strength to fight those foreign diseases that will be coming in. Then you see you are okay. Some people eating well, but every time they come up with malaria, they come up with this, they come up with that. They take drugs. Why immune system is going down? Mm. So we must eat well. So when we want to eat, eat where it does not mean I have the money, I can go to eat tree and buy anything I want to buy. No, of course you can't do that. When you go and buy a lot of things in the eatery, you buy plenty of meat, fry, you know, they fried it, and then look at your age, look at what you do. You don't do anything, you just want to enjoy yourself. Yes, and then sir. after doing that, you sit down and take maybe four bottles of uh, alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah, and then you, 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 you want your AC or your fine, yeah. enjoyment, yeah, you sleep. Not you <laughs> So that's how a lot of things come up. The people come up with different disease conditions. And then you see them in the hospital. You say, what's the problem? And then we now say, okay, you want to even know that. All oh, these disease conditions, mm. where are they generated from? Mm. You believe about 80% of them come up with our habits and lifestyle. Mm. That's quite pathetic. You know, it, it, for you saying all of this, some person out there may be thinking that, it no mean, it no mean, but it does mean a lot because what you eat determine how healthy you will be. Now let's look at um, the issue of uh, meal planning because I don't know how to plan a meal. It's just what comes to mind that you cook. So how do we begin to plan meals for our families? Because we want to eat food for health. We don't want to eat medicine for health. Okay. So how do we begin to start planning meals? Yes. You see, you know, like all the families are actually not the same. Mm. We have some lower class, we have some middle class, yes. we have some, uh, you know, actually in the high there. You know, but majorly what we must know, the first thing we should know that every meal has a good time we suppose to take them. Each one of them. Mm. You must eat them at the right time. At the right time. Each one of them. You don't take breakfast for dinner. And you don't take dinner for to long. Breakfast. Mm. Just now. I so, it. Now, so people say, oh, if I'm eating, I have to eat twice a day. You can't do that. Since you have to spend 24 hours 
for a day, you must eat three times daily. Is it is it is, 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 is it, it compulsory? What if, if what if, what, if, what if we don't feel like? Yes. Because sometimes it, there are like, some persons who are not breakfast people. Yes. You know, no. They don't eat breakfast. They cannot eat breakfast. Eating breakfast is like is like is like punishment. So they no, just let it go. Yes, of course. No, what they do, they eat everything in the evening. Mm. Those people they don't eat in, in the afternoon, but when they want to eat in the evening, they eat they as just, many they just as they want to eat. Plenty of food like yes, that. It's, there's danger there. It's better for them to eat normal food, uh, their normal meal at the right time. So you you just, you break it. Just now you have it. That's the reason why we eat. So let us know that someone actually ought to take. 1,800 kilocalorie in a day. Yeah. That 1,800 kilocalorie, we divide it into how do we How do we measure that calorie? That's yeah. another thing. Because no, it's, it's, apart it's, from you, dietitians, the rest of us don't know how to it's very easy. calculate it's, all of those things that we It's eat. actually very simple. What mm -hmm. I mean is this. Okay, let's assume that you have to take 55% of carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. And you have to take maybe probably 25% of protein. Of protein. And you have to take 15% of lipid. That's fat. So what does that mean? In that 1,800 kilocalorie, you must make sure that you have 55 percent of carbohydrate you know 25 percent of protein and 15 percent of you know lipid there mm. so when you have them then you you, you find the percentage and you divide it by three so what three means that morning afternoon evening this is why we must not enter inside now so you know a lot, of, a lot of us will find it difficult when, when, when you do that you mm. know the person you are hitting in the morning yes. you know the person you are eating in the afternoon mm -hmm. you know the person you are eating in the, in evening. the evening believe me you cannot do mm. away when you eat that way you cannot do away that you will eat in the afternoon hunger will wake you up to eat so that means you 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 portion it you don't eat no, but make no, it i'm small. just i'm just i just gave a sample of 1800 some mm. people take 2000 some people take 3000 depend on calories yes calorie depend on what you do and you who you are mm. so when you eat that way you don't say i don't want to eat in the morning i don't want to eat in the afternoon I don't okay want to eat a, a, a normal human being now how many calories is there normal human being yes that to eat uh, if you want male uh, female uh, if you want to say normal in the normal human being mm. you, you can actually say okay normal middle age person okay just now okay a normal elderly person Okay, let's say that's a normal middle age person. Yes, female. Yes. How many calories? The yes. male. How many calories remember, are we supposed yes, to consume daily? That, that, person, that person is like you. Mm. That person is like you. The work you do is just to sit down and talk to us. Ah, it's not just to sit down and talk but to I'm us. Just, I'm because just we do a lot of. No, no, a lot I'm just of telling you that. Let us know that this is just your work. Okay. You are not doing another thing. Mm. At least as a mother, you have to take almost like maybe two thousand two hundred kilocalories. Two thousand two hundred kilocalories. Kilo 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 Calorie because you per, stay per day per day per day then when you know that okay this amount of food i'm taking now remember that as you're taking 2200 kilocalorie now remember what time will i take breakfast my breakfast okay because why the hour for your break, breakfast to metabolize or to digest you must give that time before yes. you take another food mm. before you take you know your lunch so if you eat in the morning around let us know that the food you take now is more of like people say okay get ketogenic diet and everything <laughs> yes. you take more of fat it mm. will take you like five to six hours to, before to, that fatty food will digest, digest. do you understand now so what does that mean wow. it means that you must give five to, six, to hours six hours before you eat another food so calculate that let us know that the one you are taking in the afternoon to the same thing mm. you must give that time give five to six hours before the next interval meal. so when you do that you are, you are actually protecting your fighter organ for them not to overwork. Hmm. Because if they overwork, it's another problem. It's a problem. As you are getting age, and then the organ, is, they, are, they are aging too. So, but when you eat that, when you eat that way, like for example now, your kidney is mostly to work on your, you know, proteinous food. So, anything that you eat, protein, all those electrolytes, all those, you know, water you take, is kidney that actually regulate all those things. Let us assume that it's you that you only normally like go to eat three and buy okay. 100 naira for food, 2,000, 3,000 naira. <laughs> yeah, you are destroying that kidney. Hmm. Most every time you are destroying that kidney. That's why you see some of them. You see that, okay, they come up with kidney problems. And they don't, they, probably they've never, you know, actually been diagnosed to have diabetes before. Hmm. No diabetes, no hypertension. They just come up with kidney problems. Hmm. If you check this lot of those people, they are the ones that can go out there and sit down with the mother that says suya and eat plenty of suya. You know, they buy barbecue, they eat a lot of things. You see them eating all those fatty, fatty, fatty food. And then when you see fat, you will see protein food there too. Protein and fat, they work together. And then these are the things that actually destroy our kidney in some cases. So if you want to eat now, how many protein will I take? 
in a day you eat that way your organ you are protecting them you can't be you can't buy car today now you take it to Lagos tomorrow uh, next tomorrow Abuja you take it to eh, and then you say that car will you know we 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 last as someone that's no. just taking it to work <laughs> no. and go back to to his <laughs> the, house or the house. way auntie will tell on the car definitely it's that the same way our system too that food that we eat actually destroy our fighter organs mm. both mostly I mean, kidney and the, and the liver. And the liver. That's strange. Okay, uh, Mr. Gwenga, just advise us on what we should do right. Let's use two minutes to do this and then wrap up. Yeah. Advise us on how to eat right. When you say balanced diet, exactly what we should have on our plate. The appropriate time to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes, I want to tell everybody at home, like, if you know that you are, you know, a family that you don't involve in hard labor, so please, it's good for us to take light food in the morning. Yeah. Like we take our bread, you know, take your tea and sauce in the morning. And you can go for pap in the morning, even though you are not going to work. Not, not only that you take rice in the morning, when you are eating your rice, don't always take your rice with, you know, uh, you know plenty of oil and stuff like that. You can make vegetable sauce, or you make egg sauce, or you make, you know, fish sauce. And then add cabbage to your rice. It gives you the fiber there. Okay. Not only that, in the morning, you can go for oatmeal. Or you go for cook and host in the morning. You eat that one in the morning. So that one, you can go for yam in the morning. And the way you want to eat your yam, make sure that your yam is with vegetable sauce. It will help you. And then in the afternoon, like, like I said, if you want to eat apple, you like apple, let your apple be in the, the afternoon. Snow. In, in the, the afternoon. afternoon. Not in the morning, in the morning, not in the evening. So you can take another swallow in the evening. Like wheat, like semu, like you know, uh, oatmeal in the evening. These are the things that actually will help you. And if you want to eat in the morning, make sure your morning food at least 8 a.m. in the morning. 8 a.m. in the morning. Wow. And then you take your lunch between 12 and 1. Okay. And then make sure that in the evening, take your dinner around 6 p.m. in the evening. So when you do that, you are fine. And then make sure that when you notice anything in your system that you are not fine, you are not right, please go to Nere Hospital for checkup. Maybe probably just need to correct something. Maybe just to, I mean, maybe just your lifestyle you need to change. You don't need to panic like, oh, I'm dying, I'm this, I'm that. <laughs> and then when you notice that, okay, you are urinating too much, too more, it might not be diabetes. It might be something else. Okay. Don't go to chemistry and start taking drugs. Start taking drugs. You know, you, you have to go to a hospital. Go to the hospital, let them diagnose you, and then let them tell you where exactly what's wrong with you. Um, I want to tell you, if you eat right, you might hardly visit the hospital. You will hardly, hardly, hardly fit us if you eat right. That's fantastic. If your food is okay, if you are fine. Because what, nothing, not if your immune system is strong, you are, you are good to go. In this you know, environment that we have now, everything is <laughs> just happening and happening and mm. happening. Just eat well and you are fine. Thank you, Mr. Gwenga. Hope you, you all got that right. Eat well and everything will go smoothly for you. Eat only when you're hungry and eat according to what you do for job. If you work, uh, if you if your work entails a lot of uh, sedentary lifestyle, please eat light. Okay, don't eat like a bricklayer. Thank you, Mr. Gwenga, for finding time to be with us. All right, we'll see you again on Monday. Bye bye.